the building will accommodate various offices, an auditorium, lecture halls, and a cafeteria, amongst others. The building also reflects the growing need for teaching space at Namco, which now boasts an enrollment of 48,000 learners, from a mere 16,000 learners in 1997. Namco offers a variety of courses, which mainly includes lifelong learning, English, early childhood development, and pre-primary education short courses, amongst others, besides being a gateway for grade 10 and grade 12 repeaters. Prime Minister Sarah Kuhungilwa Madila emphasized that government remains committed to ensure an inclusive education sector by improving the quality of education through industry attachment, coaching, and mentorship programs. She says that it is a befitting gesture for Namco to recognize the efforts of former Prime Minister Naha Sangula, who initiated the introduction of Namco. And I must congratulate Prime Minister Angola also because I know it was very difficult to establish Namco. At that time, many people did not understand why we had to establish it. Many were saying, no, Namco should simply just go because you cannot take young kids that need more supervision at the full-time primary schools and secondary schools and take them to a part-time open learning facility, abolish the thing. But I was impressed when I was following the results of grade 12s to see that many of them who were excelling were actually coming from Namco. Angola told NBC News that he is humbled by the recognition. I feel honored, of course. Uh, but I'm not really in the, in the business of uh, my name being put on buildings or anything like that. But I only hope that uh, the appearance of my name there will give encouragement to young people, especially those who have been rejected by formal education, to put up effort to improve themselves for their own future, the future of their families, and of course the future of Namibia. Since its inception, despite widespread negative stereotypes, at least 600,000 learners have gone through Namco, some of them becoming lawyers, doctors, and engineers. Hey, Pahirwe Kanji, NBC News, Vinduk.